All right, Texas 200 Sailing Club people out here. We got four or five boats. I have to give them a count. We have to christen. That's freshly built, first sailed this weekend. Some of them are freshly owned, getting switched around for a big christening party. This is Magnolia Beach. This is exactly where we finish the Texas 200. Every year, this is the beach we finish the 200 on. Have our big shrimp oil and barbecues right there. So you can see here we got four boats lined up to be christened. Champagne. Last year we did the christening party. I had champagne was about 90 degrees. Someone left it in the sun. Hope. Mm. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. It's so good hot. <laughs> so good it's hot. It's so good. Oh, yeah. It's a little rough. Here, get up your back. Hope. Well, let's go test it. Here we go. Let's see if the, uh, let's see if the champagne's cold this year. Oh, yeah. Someone had it in the cooler. Good thinking because it was pretty rough, guys. And this boat couldn't have been built without all of these renegades. Because they know that I was on the phone with them, texting them day and night. Uh, Mike Singleton, Glenn Graham at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. They, we were on speed dial with them. And then, oh, I don't, can't even tell you how many times. We, we didn't know anything about doing this. <laughs> we Nothing. called them. So, uh, thank you guys for being patient with us. And this is a boat that was built twice. Besides the hull and the mast and the spars, everything on this boat was done twice. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Thank you, Bob Foreman. So let's christen this boat Oyster Catcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to catch a lot of oysters. Yeah. The next one goes in the water. Okay. The next one goes in the water. Yeah. Okay. Your boat at the side. This is a Highland, uh, Highlander. Highlander 14, uh, Selway Fisher boat. Uh, we, we just, well, we've been building it and sailing it and building it and sailing it. And uh, today we're christening it the uh, Samuel Vines. And, uh, How'd you get the that's name? About a, <laughs> How'd you get it, the name? That is a character from a Terry Pratchett boat. He is, uh, All right. Uh, so. Okay, christen this baby. Yes, here we go. Right. <laughs> right. Wonderful sight. Yeah, this is a this is actually a Newport surprise, and uh, we got it from out of we saved it from a guy that was about to demolish it, and it's full of foam all the way up to the top. And Jennifer, I said, let's go get this trailer, and we drove up there. And she said, I ain't doing this ever again. <laughs> so I took it out there, and I dug it all out, and we see if it would hold hold water, and it did. So I told Jennifer, I said, do you pick the color? And, we're painting out, painting. So that's what she picked. <laughs> so, the uh, Queen P is what we call her. And uh, where'd the name come from? The Queen P. Talk about the name. And name generator for kickboats on Google. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> AI to the rescue. And, uh, so yeah. Anyway, so we Christian Queen P.
Go for it. All right, so um, this spring before the Texas 200, uh, I was talking to Chuck Lineweaver on the phone, and he says, hey, let me buy you lunch later on this week. And, uh, and so I said, okay. And uh, I met him in Kerrville, and we're eating lunch. And uh, he says, uh, Sandra and I have decided to gift uh, Looney Tune to you and Kat. So I didn't know what to say. I was shocked. I didn't expect that. So um, I accepted it. And uh, I told him in, in, in honor, I'd be honored to have Looney Tune and uh, that I would keep Looney Tune as it was traditional, you know, as, you know, in the future. So, cheers. <laughs> Be careful, that's going pretty far. It did. <laughs> oh, there's a metaphor for something. I should have shaken it. That's dirt. Now go get the tidings up. All right. Hey, I put a little bit of. Left over, it's on the counter.